Hello, my wonderful spirit guides. So today I'm going to be reacting to Jean, I think that's how it is, Jenny, Jean, Jean, Jenna. It's got like a little accent on the E. Jenna, Jenna Ico. I I think it is Jenna Ico. I I feel I. I was going to say Ico, right, but I just didn't know the Janae bit, but it's Janae. All right, yeah, and the thing is, it's quite funny, um, because I was actually meant to be doing Banks Goddess. However, for some reason, I just had a trip, like the album named Trip in my head. Um, I think it's because I was singing a song. I've been having dreams, ding, 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 tripping, I fall in, and it says trip, and then trip was in my head, and it was all just like meshing together, and then I started to draw like little like mushrooms, like I just started like thinking about little mushrooms and drawing them, so random, like it wasn't even to do with the album, I just started thinking of it, and I went, oh, I, I'm thinking of painting mushrooms on my face, why don't I do the album trip? Uh, it's the next one coming, even though it wasn't the next one coming. Anyway, it's all been a bit of a, a mix-up. However, I'm sure if you're here, you're happy I'm doing it now. Um, <laughs> I'm really excited. And, like, to be honest, when I was told by the patron who requested this about the whole, like, album, it really got me curious. So, in a way, I feel like my body and my mind were, like, drawn to it. So, yeah, I have had, like... I'm not saying, like, the whole album is, like fun it's like a big trip I think there's going to be some stuff on it that's kind of like darker or maybe you know the bad side of tripping on things <laughs> you know tripping and stubbing your toe but um I still wanted to do like a kind of cute little makeup look to like kind of fit the theme if you know what I mean just for fun but um yeah I'm ready to get into it if you'd like to become a patron then please do all the links and stuff in the description live streams early access uncut it truly helps me out honestly my boyfriend is in the process of trying to find a new car and we are so freaking poor right now that it, I don't know if we're gonna get one and I won't be able to go to Aurora and I won't be able to go see Dorian Electra and I won't be able to go to see Not Loot Not Loose which is a band my boyfriend likes because we got that, all that, before Christmas, those tickets, and now, you know, we're skint and we don't have a car. <laughs> but that's not your problem. That is not your problem. So you don't join just because I said all that. Join because you want to and because you feel like you want to see extra content or you want to, you know, uh, be involved or you just want to support me in any way that you can. Just do you, boo. Um, but yeah, but please follow me on Instagram and I'll follow you back if you want me to. And obviously like and subscribe. That's just, that's free and you can do that for sure. You, you can do that, can't you? Yes, you can. Right, anyway, <laughs> a bit like overexcited today. Another thing, another thing. I put out a little video um, about anxiety. It, the video is called Honesty and Authenticity Can Set You Free. Um, it sounds so like, oh, you know, like, ooh, hippy dippy. But it's really not. It's more of a mental health thing. And um, I, I just feel like it might, like, really help some of you. Um, because I know that, that the 6,000 of you is going to relate to at least a couple of you, you know? Um, but it's just about being more authentic and how that can really help you in your life better yourself and how by being authentic can get you what you want and to trust it more like don't let the anxiety take over because anxiety can cause us to be deceitful uh whether that be like hey do you want to come meet me tomorrow to do this and this you, you know your anxiety can make you go oh sorry i'm busy but really you need to get feel the anxiety and go um I don't know because I feel a lot of anxiety. You need to tell that person. And they might say, well, why? And like, I don't know, just the outside scares me. I'm scared that I'm gonna be, not be able to talk very long. I've, I'm scared I'm gonna screw it all up. I'm scared I'm gonna be drained. You know, you could just tell that friend and they could go, well, how about we do something really simple and chill? And then you might go, okay, that sounds nice. And they say, you know, you can stop whenever you want and then you take the, that, you know, initiative to really go, hey, I, I want to stop now. 
stop people pleasing basically and be real and you'll enjoy more time things that you do if you just keep being real um so the video is about that basically um i'm not saying it's an easy thing to do but it's you know it's a practice anyway let's get on with it the first song is called l s d am i allowed to say that it's called lissida lissida <laughs> it's called lissida let's go for it all right sorry back problems must must be comfy. I'm like squeezing myself between pillows just to be comfy. Okay, right, anyway. Ah, really excited for this, I don't know why. Okay. Oh, you like it up there? What's your view from there? I bet it's so cool to jet across the moon. That's how I picture you in my head. Have faith, have baked. We were halfway to Hana. We did some shrooms and we smoked marijuana. Came all this way to escape all our problems. Came all this way just to break every promise and do. But those things bring me closer to you. Yeah. So the other night I took a tiny piece of paper and put it under my tongue. Ooh, I like that sound. So like I said, it'd be fun and it was, but what I saw. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, so that's the start. Really interesting intro. So like it starts like the music's very like obscure actually. Like it's got that little like reverse like sort of like skipping backwards kind of record player almost. Um sound but it's also got like this kind of jingly sound going on that almost sounds like well yeah trippy in a way but it sounds like it's like at like a playground almost and like it's all a bit like ha 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 happiness like a bit of like a park like a park area but then it doesn't feel that happy though the song in a way i'm just gonna check the lyrics oh yeah okay so i remember the patron telling me it's like a story right and this, this is very much giving me a story. It's like, you know, she's missing someone and so on like that. It sounds like she's woken up and she's like, oh, you know, a little bit like, I miss you. Doesn't want to get out of bed. But then later that night, she took a tiny piece of paper and put it under her tongue. And we know what that is. That is, listen <laughs> uh, And a white guy said it'd be fun. But what I saw, oh my God, oh my God. So it's like, oh, what's next? What's next? It's like this actual, like, you know, each song's gonna be like a chapter, maybe. I love that. Oh, gives me shivers. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit worried about where it'll go for sure. But um, I'm also intrigued. But uh, yeah, I loved it when that little synthy bass came into it. Really warmed it up. But yeah, let's go. Next song is called Jukai, Jukai, Jukai. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I like that. I love her voice. I left the house all clean and tidy. Don't come searching. is like the instrumental again has that really interesting like light feeling which feels like it should feel like calming and happy and the vocal feels like it's in the wind almost but it feels atmospheric but not in a way where I'm talking about oh we're floating through the heavens it feels like no we are in the atmosphere like we are we aren't quite in the uh, on earth and we're not quite in space it's like we are shuffling in the atmosphere and um it's almost rough. It's almost hard to be there. Uh, but there's a calming feel to it as well. But maybe that could be like the calming effects of like, you know, substances. <laughs> Who knows? I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just getting into it. Hell is not a place. Hell is not a certain evil. Hell is other people. Wow, I like that line. 
lack of love Oh, I like that If I died, would it even make a sound in the sea of dreams? That's beautiful No need to bother looking for me Don't go, don't go, don't go Searching Okay, uh, another thing I wanted to mention is I do believe that this album is dedicated to her brother who passed away and I'm just going to make check that a little bit. Well, it seems to be related to the forest in Japan that is known as the unaliving forest. Um, so it's definitely about death in some way. Um but not entirely sure what it's all about. I think there's, with this, this album, it seems like there's going to be a lot of meaning, but I'm still going to go with the flow and, and read the lyrics, you know, and get what I feel from it anyway. I'm way out, I'm way out I'm way down in the sea of Now, sorry, and now as I read, I'm way down in the sea of trees, starting to feel like a unaliving process. You know, some people will tie a rope to a tree. Sorry, I, I it's hard to talk about. I know I don't want to trigger anyone either, but uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, so yeah, that's interesting too. Also, the sound. You know how I said it's like feels like being in the atmosphere. It's kind of changing now. I guess I'm getting more into it. In the sound, it sounds a little bit more beautiful. When she said one thing about, uh, she said she said something, and it kind of like trailed like up in a tree. Maybe it was like this kind of beautiful sound that sounded a little bit more like a Jack and a Beanstalk moment almost. Um, you know, like kind of like being climbing a beanstalk into the clouds. So nice. Oh, I love that. to those kind of chords as like a 90s sort of sound because it's got that real um i'm trying to figure it out it's also like um oh, who oh what's the name what is the name you know the one the song that goes i lie awake in my hotel dressing gown yeah zero seven and the song is called destiny oh and it's got that real like um it was released in 2001 so obviously a bit later than the 90s only a couple years but like there were sounds in that time that just had that real like you know like massive attack it just glided i'm trying to think they're probably like <clears throat> I think the chords are going to be something along the line of like um, major sevenths and stuff like that, you know, like heavenly chords. Yeah, yeah, I, so I clicked on uh, zero seven for, to find the chords and right here it's saying, you know, C and then it will be E flat major seven. You know, so with those like E flat major sevens or like E major sevens or B major, you know, whatever you want to do it with, whatever chord you want to do it with, the major sevens are what are referred to as heavenly chords. And I feel like in this song it has that too. And it really does sound heavenly and it has that vibe. It just like you kind of ride along with. It's like a, it's like a, a stream almost but it's so freeing and beautiful and it works so well in what she's saying right now sorry i just i really had to let you know about those chords because mm, i love and those sort of sounds it's just ugh. oh and the birds oh it makes the forest seem alive oh it gives me shivers what are you doing out here i don't know What's your name? Penny. I think you saved me. Oh. oh! Okay, the 
the story continues. I'm sorry, I don't know if I mentioned, but the song is called While We're Young. And she's got such a it, uh, her um sorry her runs they like they do go down little like rocks almost it's like they bump down and I can see liquid gold literally just traveling down little like pebbles so this is interesting going on to this it, it ended with like a man being like what are you doing here and she's like I think you saved me um is it a stranger or was it uh, someone that she knows you know I'm starting to think like is she falling in love with the person that saved her if if there's a storyline there. she says that I finally decided on you it's like she went back and forth a little bit to be like do I want you am I ready to be with you and then she was like yeah I'm gonna do it <laughs> and weirdly I can kind of relate to that uh I love that in my life with you the vocal display going on here. It reminds me a little bit of Kalayla who you've listened to on the um, channel as well. But obviously different too. And um, not just trying to be like, oh look, R and B again, the same thing. I'm not trying to say that, but like I'm talking about the vocal like kind of like things, the vocal tricks that are happening is are very similar and like beautiful in that way with that like beat that feels so good. Um it's smooth, it feels nice, it feels like love, it feels romantic, feels like just feels like a love that I want to be wrapped up in right this moment. Just like it feels cozy and wholesome. I love it. And it's also just so sweet. Love that. Oh, here we go. Right, it's moving into the next song. But um, I just love that kind of like, while well, we're young, let's just be dumb and let's not care. It's so freeing and it's cute and it is young. It's like an immature way of being, but there's a self-awareness in it. Like, we're young. Come on, let's just do what we want. <laughs> I love that. I mean, I'd love to have that feeling, but I suppose you can have that feeling in, in small little ways or wherever you are, but oh, I love it. All right, next one is called Moments. These are the moments in time. Again. I've been waiting a whole life to find. The beat. Now we've been searching for all through the night. Just tell me it will be all right. My mama said love is the answer. So when I call, you better answer me. Aww. Right now I need you here on me. No substitute, you the one and only. Both got a past full of sorrow. Let's cancel everything tomorrow. Oh. I always get caught in the moment. Oh, 
Oh, wait, I'm, I'm gonna go back to that. But, ah, oh, this sounds interesting. I love, like, you got me on my knees, baby James Brown, please. Um, it's like she's listening to James Brown in the moment. And it also is a reference to James Brown's song called Please, Please, Please. When, in the live performance, Brown would falsely fall on his knees and collapse. Okay, that's really cool as well. I like that reference. Um, but this is to her lover, aka Big Sean, apparently. Love that. But I really like the whole, like, both got a past full of sorrow, let's cancel everything tomorrow. It's so simple, but it's like, talk about the past, feeling sad, but then tomorrow let's cancel everything and just be happy and just do what we want and be cozy. There's something, I don't know, something to say for that. I like it. That's history, the future, that's and here a mystery. He is. The present, that's a gift. That's why they call it the present. I can't watch the news lately, it's been so depressing. I'd rather be with you, bodies pressing and decompressing. This baby in a room full of dancers. Oh, I like that. You still are the answer. These are those, nothing to focus on. I need somebody real to get close to Paul. Looking for someone who don't annoy you when they overstaying. It's looking mm -hmm. like I am, like 1 a.m. I could put you to sleep faster than melatonin. Us on and wishing I could freeze for in the moment. Oh, yeah. I like that. That's really sweet. Uh, wishing I could freeze for in the moment, which is sweet as well. Um, I love that he's like on it though. That's so sweet. And it really um, breaks up the sound a little bit too, having that. But also I really like uh, when he goes, because baby in a room full of dancers and the way it like shifts into that. Really good. Love that for the dynamic. That's so sweet that they had this together. Time to go and your time be on it. Lose yourself and find something you won't let escape the moment. Yeah. Everything you need to be. I like that as well. Lose yourself and find something you won't let escape the moment. Um, in a way, it reminds you of lose yourself in the music, the moment. You better own it and never let it go, go. And then, you know, from um, Eminem's song, lose yourself and find something you won't let escape the moment. You know, like it won't, you can't let it go in a way um let me just read if it says anything about that um and it, well obviously you better freeze at the moment seize it own it focuses on it our time to go in it, it, it's the same sort of um flow as eminem uh eminem song lose yourself and uh yeah let me have a look big sean could be referring to eminem's track lose yourself and sing for the moment yeah of course there's so sing for the moment as well because it's aerosmith on the chorus as well Sing it with me. Do 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 do. Sing it from the end. Sing it from the theater. Sing it do Just for the moment. Let it all float away. Um, I think even in the chorus on Larry Smith's part, it has like a very much like, you know, hold on to the moment sort of feeling in it. I can't remember the words, but I know there's something about that. But also just uh, sing for the moment. The literal title of the song makes sense all right um don't know if any of you are eminem fans i know that a lot of people like think he's a little uh vulgar a little bit um this that and the other but growing up i was like a huge eminem fan so i've kind of just stayed stuck with that like honestly like listened to his music my whole life basically <laughs> but um i like that that there's like kind of things going on here with that and i picked it up straight away i was like i know what that is Content it is right here, right in this minute You can have it when you understand that all that matters is right here Cute It's just like a love song between them two Ooh. And it's gone into It's gone into this song And it's uh, called Only Lovers Left Alive But it's actually called O-L-L-A Or Ola um, And it's with 2088 Got a bit more of a disco y feel, I'd say, or an 80s sound. It's just those drums. Ooh, the EQ is so high. Yeah, 
for show. Apart from that, like, the rest of the song, like the EQ, uh, is very much pushed up on the higher levels, giving it that like kind of sound where it's kind of, like it's coming through like uh, you know like a CD player and someone else and you're recording the CD player if you know what I mean it's not tinny enough for that but it's got like a that little you know it sounds up <laughs> This song is like about aliens in a way. Like Janae says, in my mind, I have this whole vision of the end of the world with alien invasions and meteors falling and only the lovers being spared their lives. Oh my God, I love that. That's so cool. Oh my God, she's so romantic. For real, like she's romantic. Like she really believes in love you know, and she's open. She's like an open love, like sort of loving person. I could feel that. When she loves, she loves full heartedly. She's in love. And I can really feel that. And I really, really enjoy that. why as well like the EQ is a little bit higher right because it sounds like it could be coming through like an intercom and it's letting other people know on the planet like we're the only lovers left alive is anyone else there or maybe it's coming over like a radio system in space or something like we're the only lovers left alive there's something spacey about it that I really like <laughs> So hard to follow. Yeah, so sweet. I guess we the roses that grew from I can't even picture you without me. That's too sad to see like a on my feet. Oh god, never Like we get back. Like a pick of mob deep. Mob deep are a um a hip hop um group. Sorry, I cannot think. A hip hop group and they did um there ain't no such thing as halfway crooks. You're scared to, you're scared to death. You're scared to look. You shook. There ain't no such thing as halfway crooks. I can't remember. I think it says something like that. But I, I love that song. That song is actually on 8 Mile with Eminem. So it's funny that he mentions Bob Deep too. Um, also though, it seems like he's sad to look at the picture of Mob Deep because the because one of the people in it died in like a quite a bad way so it might be sad to like see a picture of that now I imagine that's why he says sad to look at the picture but I really like that they mentioned Mob Deep but yeah I, I I just love the song Shook Ones and it's probably one of the most famous ones but I I went on to listen to more Mob Deep and I really do like their like whole vibe sort of thing <laughs> You're probably thinking, what the hell? Like, how do you even know all this rap and hip hop stuff? Because I don't, <laughs> I don't come across like I would know any of it, but I do. <laughs> I know enough. Right. Anyway, let's keep going. And that's the feeling money can't buy. No, baby girl, you matter to me like black lives. Black lives. I've been daydreaming these nightmares. Of me waking up and you not dead. Yeah. That's so crazy, my lady. I look at you and wanna have a hundred bags. <laughs> Damn. Damn. So we see heaven gates. We gon' turn a hundred. is just so cute like I, I don't know I don't know it just makes me feel happy like to hear two people loving each other and being able to sing and rap together it just feels right it feels really like uh 2000s like 2006 2007 sort of uh 2008 even um kind of feeling to it but like you know a bit more now as well, current slightly, but yeah, love it. Oh, talking about disco vibes, a roller disco. Wow. I'm sorry if you're not a lover though, listening to this. 
Damn. <laughs> Let's take one for the single hearts. Tell me how you love me again. Tell me how you fell off the Oh, that's cute actually. I just like kind of realize what those lines kind of mean. It's kind of like, you know, looking at your partner and being like, let me know how much you love me again. Can you tell me about when you like uh fell in love with me? Like like what that, what was that like? And can you like tell me that and that story like all the time because it makes me feel so good. <laughs> it's like really cute. Oh hey and there's all the others, other lovers singing it too. Okay. This song is called When We Love. I like the lines of this already. Um, you know, it's just kind of like when she says you lie, I don't mind it. But you know, it's almost like being like, yeah, you do these little things, but I love you so much, it doesn't matter. But maybe like also you lie. Um, but if you can keep telling me all the things I want to hear, if you could tell me sweet little nothings that don't even really mean much, or like you don't even truly mean, uh, but you make me believe them, then I'm good with that. I mean, there's a there's undercurrent of toxicity for sure, but um, I still love it. And but then when she goes and say, "Love me like you say you love me," we'll be down forever. It's like being like, "Now you now love me." like you're telling me how much you love me now now actually do what you you say and then you know we will we will be one and one together forever yeah loving it Going down deep. Ooh. Ooh, feels like the bottom of the heart, you know. Oh, it's like a jazz bar inside the heart. <laughs> really? It's like. Jesus, her runs. Loving this little jazzy part with that little one. Is it a saxophone? Man, chill. Look, you ain't got nothing to worry about, alright? <laughs> Come here, sit down. Hit this. I imagine the next song is gonna be Sativa. Sativa. I remember seeing that on the track Just list. Mm, I like that. I like that little joining moment. So next song is called Sativa. And Sativa, you probably know, but Sativa is a type of devil's lettuce <laughs> that I so often use, as in the word, um, that is more uh, opens you up to creativity. It's it's more of a lighter one. It makes you giggly. It makes you very, um, you could even hallucinate on it. You know what I mean? It's like, um, it's just a bit more of the creative side. Whereas Indica, am I allowed to say these? Indy, Indica, well I've said Sativa now. So Indica is more of like a, um, uh, like a one that keeps you like, 
it's more of a mongy one. You're a bit more like uh, planted to the sofa sort of thing, like more like, mm, you know, like that, like um, sort of feeling. So yeah, I wonder if it'll be about creativity or about something like, I don't know. I, I just, I'm, I'm curious now, let's hear it. Yeah. Oh. So it's got with Swaley. So complicated. Swally. Off the drain, we concentrated. Oh, I like her voice. Smoking weed out the container. We spin cash for entertainment. There's more where that came from. That's all I'm saying. With me, Those we eight oh eight are crazy. Is it hot in here or is it just me? Drug a bitch in song is the tree <laughs> But I last like ten rounds like a freak Like a G I felt like I did a horrible job singing with Off that the thing we concentrated I know. I really love the vibe of this one. They're like the little, like you know, you could see me doing little shimmies here and there. <laughs> but it's got such a nice, like, feeling to it. It's just kind of like, mmm, cozy. I can actually see myself like they're talking, but I can see myself in a living room, and people are like all sat on sofas, just like kind of getting to the sky, you know, getting high to the sky, and like. um Everyone just kind of like, you got some people dancing, got some people drinking, but then she's just there like, you know, her friend kind of just chilling and like being like, damn, look at me, look at me go. Like, I'm a G, I can, I can take so much of this stuff and it's just what I do. You know, she's kind of bragging about that. <laughs> I kind of love it. You won't leave me hanging. Smoking weed out the container. Smoking. I'll keep it simple, baby. I'ma keep it simple with you, baby. You know I don't ever play no games. I love that. You know I don't ever complicate it. Keep the rhythm. Oh my God, I'm glad you came. You can do it, that's a diva. <laughs> and the could be out of me, so. <laughs> yeah. I just gotta keep me up. You know it? Yeah. I told you. I'm really good. <laughs> that's so funny because I was just talking about the whole sativa and indica thing. About like. Like, honestly, most people want sativa. Most people do. Um, because, you know, it'll bring you up again to give you a bit of, like, light and a bit of feeling there. Whereas, like, the indicas, like she said, is be having me stuck. So it's like, oh, oh. you know. Oh, that's so funny. I'm glad she mentioned it because I thought, like, oh, God. You know, why have I mentioned that now for, for no reason? <laughs> but no, yeah, I'm glad she said. You know just how to keep me up. You know it, better believe it. Why you make it so complicated? Of the drink we concentrate I know you won't leave me here. I love that now. Smoking weed out the can her she's got like an accent in the way she sings this swally oh swaley um uh, you know she goes I know you won't leave me hanging I know you won't leave me hanging. I love that. And then schmuck and weed. I really like the way she says she says these things. I'm like, shut up, shut up, boy. I know you won't leave me hanging. Smoke and weed out the container. There's more where it came from. That's all I'm saying. Oh, I love that. I really like that. I think you know what I'm saying. tell now if Swali is like a guy or a girl it's really hard to tell I thought it was a woman the whole time but now I'm listening to that little outro I'm like wait is that a guy 
Is that a guy? Oh no, I need to check. That's so funny. I love voices like that though, that are so ambiguous. Yeah, it's a dude. It's a dude. How funny that I thought it was a woman the whole time. <laughs> I mean, oh well, who cares? Um, but nah, the voice was so ambiguous. I really wasn't sure. I really wasn't sure. Love that. Literally love that. Okay, uh, next song is called, just let that one glide in, New Balance. I love the song Sativa, by the way. I can't put my finger on it. I don't know, it's, it's weird. It feels like I've known you my whole life. You remind me of my brother. Most of us are angry. Most of us are strange. Yeah, so I was right earlier about Janae Aiko lost her brother to cancer. So this song maybe is for her brother? Oh, okay, so actually here it says, after Janae Aiko lost her brother on July 19th, 2012, she released a song called For My Brother on her laptop. The song was initially intended only for her brother, but he died soon after hearing the record. Let's go with it. More alike than we like to believe. Most of us are empty. Most of us are simply. More alive in the scenes of our dreams Ooh, you're my solace, you're my balance Ooh, you're so no So Most of us Is this about Big Sean again, I imagine? Um, and it's kind of sweet because she's saying you remind me of my brother And that's that's a real big thing to say to someone that you're with, you must really have to, you know, love that person, really feel strongly and secure about that person, to say that they remind you of a family member that you love so much who isn't actually here with you anymore. So it feels like this love is truly deep, you know. Most of us are searching Someone to love, someone to understand Most of the time I'm fighting Loving that, like, you know, I was talking about the EQ earlier being on the high side. Now the EQ is really pushed up on the low side in, in that specific, like, rhythmic uh, place. Um, so that's interesting. And it sounds so, like, you know, submerged. But, um, yeah, I'm interested in these lyrics for sure. Um, but yeah, it looks like something to do with like a divorce, she was getting a divorce from someone, something happened, <laughs> a steamy EP with Big Sean and fans was kind of like, oh my god, or something like, I don't really care enough about the drama if I'm honest, but, and obviously she doesn't either, she's like, who cares, who cares what they say, you know, it's just us, babe, and we know what we got, so let's not care. So that's really nice that she's addressing it in that way. Other people say, uh, man, fuck what other people say. I'm a right for you, baby, if you go right for me. Yes, I know that what we have is all so real, and all I felt so confident in all you say. talk about her open heart and her, like her warmth of around love and like that how that like she's so believing in this love she's just there like you know I feel confident 
in all you say when you say you'll never leave you'll never leave please never leave there's a little bit of you know please never leave and then there's like a, yeah I believe you yes I do don't worry I believe you I believe you you know like she she kind of falters for a little second there like you know please never leave and then she's like oh okay yeah, no no you won't I know I know you won't <laughs> you know she really believes that he won't leave her which is so beautiful it's like a real uh connected uh feeling oh, I am thankful you are just what I pray for. You are what I was made for. Wow, that's deep love. <laughs> for sure. Some of us do find the one to fall in love and offer the fucking face of the earth with. Some of us do deserve it. A love that's true and perfect. Some of us been through it all before. Some of us do still come back for more. I'm loving that. I'm loving the use of real instruments, you know, amongst these like uh, beats. Ooh, ooh, going into New Balance freestyle. Oh, that's cool. So it's like New Balance and then like New Balance freestyle like you know what let's just keep this going let's keep this going and then just doing her own little thing she's literally she's got so much love in her she's like mm, i've got more to come i've got more to come wait, wait 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 i haven't finished there's still so much i could say about this and here she goes <laughs> since you caught my eye oh you're the only one i see the only one that's for me my baby oh cute and it would really be a shame you are just <laughs> running game on me Got a strange oh, feeling There's a little bit of doubt here, yeah, you maybe know Maybe I am dealing with the Smooth player I knew it would have that sound to it The smooth player bit Hope you are who you are saying It's like I really unleashed my feelings for you on New Balance and it's like so perfect and we're so in love and everything's amazing and then in New Balance Freestyle she's like oh god I really like let my heart go on that one I need to kind of you know I need to kind of rein it in and be like oh, well I hope, I hope that's true the little bit of fear came in there if you know what I mean <laughs> but yeah no I loved that Momo I might have to like stop now and then do another half tomorrow. I might do a couple more songs and then see what happens. And then I'll get some food. Love you too. Yeah, I was just talking to my daughter because obviously like I was saying about my um partner's uh car being broken, he's not here, so my daughter's I had to keep checking on her and stuff like that. But um yeah, I might have to like cut this video in half, which is so annoying because obviously I've got all this makeup on and like the vibe looks right for this video. But um, I just like, I have to make dinner and do all that sort of thing and it's getting on now and I don't want to leave her too long going popping in and out. It doesn't feel very fair. So I might have to cut this in half because I didn't, I didn't really realise it was an hour and 25 minute video until I start, I looked at it after doing the whole makeup. But what I'm going to do is do You Are Here and Never Call Me and then we've literally are halfway through the album so I thought like I'll just carry it on tomorrow and you won't notice anyway you'll just see me snap to tomorrow it might be different lighting or it'll definitely be different makeup but yeah I thought I'd let you know but anyway let's do it let's do you are here I'm really enjoying this I don't I don't want to have to stop but I do I have to be responsible and I don't want to starve my children which is just one child I don't want to starve my child <laughs> or myself. Okay, anyway, <laughs> like next song, You Are Here. Spotlight. Hope you are. Hope you are who you say. Ooh, going off of 
that again. If you want what thought it'll break my heart. The doubt. I hate to ramble on about it. Interesting. The way it went boom in the first place, I can actually feel that go to my feet, even though it's in earphones, it's not like I've got a sound system on the ground, but I actually felt it like vibrate through the floor. And it might've just been like, cause you know, my sensory stuff, but I could feel that quite heavily. I loved it. Um, and it had a really blue texture to it too. Anyway, um, interesting how I was saying, oh, she seemed so secure in this love. She seemed so like, she knows that he won't leave her, but I could hear that slight bit of insecurity in that one tiny line. And then it went on to the freestyle. I was like, oh, there's a bit of insecurity. And now we're really going into that. That's, that's interesting. That's got a real flow and like story like line to it, but not just storyline. It, it has a real thought progression to it. Something that we all go through. So yeah, I'm loving that. In my heart. If you're for show or are for sure. And I really like that, like for show, for sure. Uh, because they're like very similar. But also when you go for show, slang, very, very old slang. <laughs> like so cringy. But people used to say for show, meaning for sure. So in a way, she's really just asking if you're for sure or are for sure. In a weird way. If we just look at it like that. But really she's actually asking you know, are you just a for show, as in like, are you fake or are you for real? talking about honesty like she's obviously in a relationship and she's singing about this and i'm talking about honesty again here like i did at the start of the video it she's very much saying like she doesn't care she these aren't silent thoughts to her these are like her really being like i really hope you are who you say you are because you're literally amazing so it's kind of freaking me out and like again i can relate like I've really been focusing on the lyrics of this and like so much so that some of the music goes to the wayside until there's a moment to catch it and then like I was just really into the vocal there I my singing on top of these songs are just it's just not it it's not it it's actually horrendous and I'm I, I'm so annoyed <laughs> but it's because there's so much vocal stuff going on it's like I'm just like coming in like a screeching cat or like a car crash you know ruining it so yeah Anyway, what I was gonna say is like the music, like the so wishy-washy. It's so hard to focus on because it's wishy-washy. It's all just like this, like this cloud, these like paint, like, you know, like these kind of like, yeah, it's like water paint coming through, like, you know, it, it, it doesn't really capture your attention apart from, of course, the beat, but that's still like a, you just ride along with it. It's a vocal and it's the lyrics that really capture you in these songs. You really are the one. If you are, no, I thought it'll break my heart. Ooh. Wow. One of like the first songs to really like, um, stop. You know, it does kind of run into the next one. Right, so. Okay. 
it like closes before coming back to never call me a little bit. But now it's rising. I suppose it goes, and then he goes, Bruh. okay, anyway, anyway. <laughs> now, this song is called Never Call Me and it's with Corrupt. And it'll be the last song of this segment of me looking like this, basically. I feel like we're all the way over here, that's fine. Anyway, oh my God, I told you, I'm so like freaking like, uh, today. All right, anyway, Never Call Me. In there, my head starts flicking around, my hands start going, I can't help it, I'm like with her, <laughs> you know, like I'm reading it being like, mm, yeah, bitch, yes, I feel you, yes, sis, like, mm, mm, yeah, you tell him, <laughs> I just get so into it, anyway, wow, it says here, Never Call Me addresses Janae's relationship with her former husband and producer, Dr. Genius. The two were secretly married 11 months. Secretly, jeez. They separated due to lack of communication, hence the song's title. Oh, that's so weird. Imagine being married, but just like literally never talking. Well, that's most marriages here in the UK, but... <laughs> you know. She says, Janae says... I wrote this at the height of a very public breakup, so I was feeling away for sure. And I'd just taken some shrooms. So it was like an exaggerated feeling. I know that a lot of girls or people, period, feel that way. Don't talk to other people about me, just talk to me. We're the ones that were supposed to be in this relationship. Well, yeah, yeah, that were supposed to be in this relationship, of course. Now I'm hearing things and people are asking me what I want them to do. You need to call me because I can't control what my older homies are thinking of the situation. And Corrupt is one of those people. I'm a big fan of Corrupt being from Los Angeles. He came out and performed Ain't No Fun when I was at Coachella. When I was on the high road tour with Snoop Dogg, Corrupt was on the tour and every day we would talk. He became my real life uncle and he was with me when all that stuff was going on about my relationship. And it was just a lot of negativity coming my way and he literally had that conversation with me. That's so sweet. So really having corrupt on this is like really meaningful to her. Oh, I love that. Okay, cool. Nice to get a bit of backstory there. Okay, now you want to say all that I've done to you. Mm. So let's stop pretending like we were I like the love. music in this one. I'm like, anything but the drugs. We you know how I was talking about the music being like paint, like water paint. And this one, I'm kind of following it a little bit more. It's so interesting. Just like this. You know, it's like this little whistly, whiny sound that's kind of like trickling through. I find that kind of interesting, actually, but I'm, I'm following it and I like it. That I, wasn't the one for you. I think it's vocal. It's manipulated so vocals. Like we were in love. We never shared anything but the drugs. We were both numb. Never had anything real between us. You really must. Smoking that crazy shit. In my city talking crazy shit. But you ain't know I'm a crazy bitch. And tell your lawyer that I ain't paying <laughs> Maybe you should chill. She really loves too. Enough. You shouldn't say that here. Should have made it clear, my dear. You should have called. You should have called me. Why you never call me? Why, Why you, you never, never call, call me? me? Oh, 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 you should have called me. me. You, 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 you. Oh, you should have nice. called me. Here comes corrupt. 
Hey, sis, I'm gonna let you know like this. Hit me right back. This corrupt, okay? Mm. All these niggas with this bullshit, man. Fuck these niggas, man. The six. We ain't worried about none of these motherfucking blocks. Don't worry about him calling you and all the rest of that shit. You know what? It's his loss. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty peed. I heard the homie, the homie called me and was like, man, Janae tripping, man. This bust ass nigga got her mind fucked up. I'm like, no, not Janae. And fuck that nigga, man. Nay, mm-hmm. nay, you hit me. I got you. Oh. Everybody else is two and three. You're the one. I love you. Make sure you hit me back. This is your big brother. You hear me? Oh. This is corrupt. You got it. Mommy, as soon as you get this, you hear me? Do you Don't think that's real? Mama now. I'll track you down. <laughs> I'll track you down. Oh. So, is that like. Is that like um a real. Uh, Recording, do you reckon? I imagine so. I don't know why he, you would just randomly say that, like, uh, for the recording. But if that is real, like, that just, ah, oh, I like that. I like that a lot. And she's really showing, like, see, this is someone who calls me. He calls me. And we, we weren't married. <laughs> All right, okay. So, obviously, there's more to go. There's literally, we've got um, 10 more songs to go, pretty much, or 11. Yeah, 11 more songs to go. But um, I've got to go. But that's fine because it will carry on. We will we will resume this. I'm just going to look a little bit different and it's going to be a different day. But um, it gives me something to look forward to. I can tell you that for a fact. And to be fair, with a 22 song album, I think it's fair to have a break. I mean, like, when I think about it, when I think about actually listening to it all in one if I was on my own, I might have a break anyway. I mean, I probably would. But still, I'm trying to make it better, okay? But, um, <laughs> yeah, it makes more sense. But anyway, yes, I am going to go. I keep saying that, don't I? I keep being like, I'm going to go now. I'm going to go. Okay, I'm going. Okay, bye. Okay, yeah, bye-bye. Okay, bye. Oh, my God, it reminds me of Toy Story. Oh, my God. Wait, I'm really hyper today. It's because I'm recording at a time where I'm not in my sleepy moment. You know how sometimes I do a video and I'm yawning all the time? Yeah, I'm not at that time of day. I'm at the after bit where I'm like, hee! <laughs> oh, okay. I've only had one coffee today. Right, anyway, it reminds me of that bit in Toy Story when Barbie at the end is like, goodbye now, goodbye, and bye, goodbye now. And then she's all like, are they gone? Are they gone? Ah, oh, God, my face hurts. You know, because she's smiling so long. But anyway, actually, I'm going. Well, I'll see you in about a second, so I don't know what I'm saying, but. Snap to tomorrow. It's a new door and it's a new day. It's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. <laughs> Hello, I am back, and obviously it's a, a new day for me, but not for you. Well, it might be for you. You might you might watch my video in sections. I don't know. Anyway, I know I look really short, but that's because I'm literally. Oh no! Don't rub it off. Oh no! I rubbed a bit of my makeup off. Yeah, I've rubbed a bit of it off right here. But we can just ignore that, right? Oh. <laughs> Nothing. Just don't look. Don't look at what I'm doing. There's nothing to see here. Do 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 be do do be do do be do. That will do. Oh, it looks a bit crazy and silly now. It's fine. Right, anyway, <laughs> I'm back and I'm in a smaller chair because it's so weird. This is a camp chair that I'm in, right? I've covered it in like a nice thing. But um, it actually is the only chair in this house that actually makes my back feel a bit better. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be sitting on this probably for quite a lot of my videos now, actually, because honestly... 
my back has been so bad and this is the only chair that actually helps me so I thought right frick it I'm using it sorry about my bed not being made I just never do it really but my boyfriend does it for me uh sometimes and it's, I'm always like really grateful because it's so nice when he does it it feels like a real little treat how nice is that though he just like makes my bed because I'm too lazy and I'm like, why did I make it when I have to get in it again? But then also I'm like, I like it when the bed's made because it's really nice to get in it when the bed is made. Yeah, so whatever. Anyway, let's get <laughs> let's get back to it. So we are on we are um on the song Nobody. Okay, I'm, I've been really excited to get back to it. I also really wanted to do a makeup look, like because you know yesterday I had the mushrooms and so on like that. I wanted to do another look um, that could like amount up to that one as well because I didn't want to be like, oh, I've done all these mushrooms and the next day I'm just no makeup on or something. So yeah, I wanted to do something that kind of fit the theme still in a way, kind of trippy. Um, it's a little bit crazy, but um, I kind of like it. So yeah, song is called Nobody. Hey. Attention is expensive to pay I can't get by on minimum wage no. Since I was under the age I've been under the influence of pain And I never needed nobody Right Never needed no one I like this It's got that little sample there as well, that little what? Reminds me of um, the Lion Del Rey. Uh -huh. oh. In um, Feet Don't Fail Me Now. Born to Die, obviously. What's wrong with me forgetting that? I always do that. When I'm on the spot, I forget like song names all the time. But um, it sounds similar to that, but I don't think it is that. But I like the sample. Yeah, also, also, I really like the kind of slow jam to this, and it feels emotional too. Talking on my chakras again. My father is a doctor, I've been talking to him. All the shit I'm taking could have got it from him. I don't have no patience, probably got it from him. Just a product to him. Wow. I kind of love that. You know, um, my father is a doctor, I've been talking to him. All the shit I'm taking could have got it from him. In a way, it, well, that sounds like she's taking. Uh, some like pills or something makes sense. She, he's a doctor, um, but she's saying could have got it from him. But is she saying could have got the pills from him literally, or saying he also would take loads of pills? So she might have like followed in his footsteps. It could be both. And then she says, I don't have no patient. Probably got it from him. As in, definitely that's something you know. Like he hasn't got patience either. But then when she says it's just a product of him, I thought that was interesting because it's like, when you say you're a product of your mother, a product of your father, it means like, oh, well, you're you're so similar to your mum or dad. But using the word product is interesting because like pills and pharmaceuticals are products too. So I liked that. So she's, it sounds like she was taking um, medications and stuff as well from like a young age. love this. I love it. I started the day again. Just started the day again and I'm I'm already sucked in. Like I actually felt like I just picked up from yesterday. Like as if nothing's happened. I love that. I don't need no one. It's just such a nice like vibey sound. Like really like it's easy to sink into. We always lose what we work for, what we hurt more. Never see my mother cry, she's so tough for us, for her. She don't need nobody. Yeah, product nobody, of your mother now. Nobody. Take this. Grab my purse with my prescriptions and then take this. Tiny burst of optimism and then Ooh. take this. 
When I make so like entranced by the lyrics and just feeling it, but when she said, "Grab my purse with my prescriptions in, prescriptions in it, tiny bursts of optimism in them," like oh, so when you talk about opiates, right? They can give you a sense of euphoria, right? And they can make you feel kind of uh, good about life and like great. Well, yeah, good. Like it makes you feel like you're a better person, everything's a little bit soft around the edges of life. Um, <clears throat> I know this because I have back pain. So I have prescriptions. And um, yeah, so it, it it's dangerous for sure. Um, and uh, so I liked the burst of optimism in them because it's like, your day could be dull and then you have one. I'm not saying this for myself personally, I'm just saying it can go this route, you know. Um, uh, and it can make you feel like your day is good, you know. So, yeah, that's that's hard. But, like, I love it. Like, she's going from being born to her through her ages and then her having a kid and whatever it is. But then also her not having a brother. So sad. It's just her life. She's talking about her life, you know, and being kind of addicted through a lot of it to things. And um, I don't know. Smoke on my own, I drink on my own, I know what's wrong. Yeah. The people I know, they just want to know what's going on. I can't tell a so, no, I can't tell no one. That is so sad. Nothing from no one. Oh, no, I need Sorry, again, sorry. But it's just like, you know, she's talking about how I don't need nobody. And it's like, she's had to be independent for her whole life, for her, like her mother was, and it's just the way she's grown up. So now that she's kind of struggling with some kind of addiction, she's like, it's fine, I'll deal with it on my own. I don't need to tell anyone. I, I, I you know, I'll, honestly, I just get it. And wow, what a song. You're not alone. You got me. Look, I know it'll make you feel better. Here, try this. Mm. Oh, and now it's called overstimulated. Okay, I'm interested. Yeah. Ooh, that's moody. It's dark. Okay, so this sounds like, yeah, to me, this sounds like someone who's been drinking and maybe doing certain things already all night, and then a new uh, so, so substance comes along, and they're like, they're all like screwed up, and they're like, oh, and then they're like, man, yeah, fuck it, I need to change this pace, so I'm gonna take something else to um, lift me up again, basically. And that can happen like when you drank so much, some people would wanna try and take C, uh, cola, um, because it like kind of like brings back your awareness a little bit. You're probably wondering how I know so much about this. <laughs> no reason. <laughs> no reason. Hi. Listen, I've lived a life, okay? But um, <laughs> it can bring you back to, it's like a caffeine hit in a way. A big one, but you know. 
but I don't know what she's going to be talking about. Well, the song is called Overstimulated, so it could be something like Cola or, you know, Speeding. Speed, speed, speedy, speedy. <laughs> Crossing the line, I like that. Oh, bumps in the night. The plain word. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it sounds like it's about polar. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so this sounds like, it sounds like it's moved, you know, like, um, I keep scratching, right, um, <clears throat> you know, it sounds like she's taken something else, maybe, like, to bring her back down again, because this bit's all like, hmm, you know, and it almost feels like she's in a place of, like, a, somewhere a bit more floaty, a bit more calm. So there must be something else that she's taken, like a, a val, valley, or something like that, to um, bring her to a calmer place now. Obviously, this is crazy. She's taking a lot of things here. <laughs> but um, that's what it sounds like. Um, I don't know. It's a bit more like, yeah, so like it definitely sounds like something a bit more floaty. It could even be like something, yeah, like shrooms or something. But it, she does say something about a pill though, so I don't know. But it sounds like a mixture of things that she's taking and it's changing the way she feels and thinks. You know, she's freaking out and then she's calm and then she's bored, so she goes up. And, he, and like, if I'm honest, is this what happens a lot? Like, you know, when people do like want to go on a crazy night sort of thing that is what will happen mixing and matching and you know with different substances to like keep the night going in the way that you want it to and you know but it's extremely dangerous though too but I have to say this is probably one of my favorite songs as well I love the vibe of it completely Why you never stay for pausing i'm so sorry but why you never stay for long you always go so fast you're who's gonna hold my hand when i'm crashing there's like so many meanings in that well how i'm reading it why you never stay for long there are certain substances that are short-lived right and you always go so fast me again short-lived substances like the highest fast but also the drug the, the the substance that you can call speed which is funny because speed fast and then who's gonna hold my hand when I'm crashing? Like who's gonna like literally who what person's gonna be there for me when I'm having a come down? But also when you um do you go so fast, um hold my hand when I'm crashing, it sounds like a big like car crash too. So that's interesting as well. It's just got a lot of ties. Um yeah, yeah, that's it. about to go into the outro now but um yeah that's so interesting that last little verse there being like suddenly this big kind of like yeah yeah kind of feeling arrogant sort of thing and i just quickly wanted to read what it was about before it ended and i sorry i just got impatient 
I know what it's about basically, but I wanted to read what was said. So Janae has said, Ovia stimulated is about a stimulant. So that's where I start talking about cola and adder or <laughs> which I'm, I, I don't know how much I could say like, you know, names or drugs and stuff. So I'm just kind of like playing it safe-ish, I suppose. Anyway, which unfortunately I've experimented with. And when I was recording that song, I was on one and I was scared. Oof. We were already, uh, you know, it's kind of, uh, can I just say that like, it's kind of sad that like, I'm like, oh, this is like my favorite song. You know, this is like one of the best ones and probably quite a lot of you like this song. It's kind of sad because people always say, people make the best songs when they're on, when they're effed up. Do you know what I mean? And you know, I don't think that's necessarily true for one, but this is very personal. It's got such a, like, the words are great and the feeling, it, it, it sometimes like music could come out of these spaces because your mind is in that altered, you know, place and it's, it is creative in a way, but also she sounds like she was in a scared place. So it's a song of out of fear too. Okay. We were already in album mode and we had to finish. So I felt pressure a little bit. Unfortunately, I turned to the wrong method of getting something done sooner. I love the song though. I'm not going to lie, but I remember thinking if my heart goes out right now, I couldn't stop singing this song and trying to get it right. But I felt like I learned my lesson because I went back later and of course I perfected it. Oh, good. Then I realized I can do it without that. Ah, oh, see, yeah. I definitely made more sense of it afterwards. I'm almost 30 years old, so I feel like I don't have to do those things anymore to get things done. Shortcuts are not the answer. This is amazing. I'm so glad she's saying this. Those types of substances give you that false, it's not even confident anymore. You just feel like you're on top of the world, but it's not coming from a place of self -love, real self-love. It's just superficial, which is why the true story goes into bad trip. Because when you come down from all that stuff, you're like, what in the world? This is not right. Oh my God. Okay, so the next song is just going to be another brilliant one, I feel. But it's going to be hard, I suppose. And it's, oh, well, it's an interlude by the looks of it. But um, I'm really glad she's written this song like honestly it's so real and and true and like she was saying about Adderall and you know I thought at one point maybe she'd taken something like a Val Valium <laughs> because um that was like a chill moment but maybe that was just a moment of you know like just breathing I don't know I don't know the full process so yeah let's just get to the uh, outro bit now what the fuck did you give me Album, I've been talking about kind of like wishy washy water paint like colors throughout the sounds. Like, this has got it, but really like going for it, you know, going it's like wavy as hell. So, like, yeah, I could feel the bad trip right now. I was like being drowned in it. It's almost like feeling like you're gonna be sick too, uh, a little bit. On a bad trip. Ooh. Like a child. that but, you know it's a little bit tribal but like a uh, native and so on like jungle sort of vibes which is you know a lot like when you take things like um hallucinogens then you know is meant to be like a spiritual experience used in the right way and so on like that 
uh, and it is a spiritual thing and it you know it's stuff that naturally grows and stuff like ayahuasca and so on but um this uh doesn't sound like a good one though and i'm just going to quickly read here what janae has said she says when i did shroom mushrooms for the first time, I got super, super emotional. I ate too many and I was around a whole bunch of strangers. I was away from my daughter. I was about to eat rice and it looked like worms. I was just confused. Oh God, that's awful. I don't think I could freaking, freaking deal with it. Oh, ah. No, don't, because I, I already have like really weird things with food. Like food is like my comfort, but I also get like really freaky thoughts. I don't want to, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I'm not doing it. But I can't imagine being like in a weird like trip and actually seeing. This is why I will never do them, and I have never done uh, uh, actual hallucinogen. Um, and I know that some people get on with it really well. Some people also like to microdose or whatever. Some people just like to go the full hog and do like full-on trips and stuff like that like I've got loads of friends that I know that you know are happy to do that sort of thing but I've always chosen not to because I I know I have CPT I have complex PTSD as it is so I, and I have a very vivid mind you can you know I do for all of these like you know reactions I do just the colors I see and stuff but like uh, I've already hallucinated um through my mental health stuff and through spiritual means without uh, a, a, an aid. So I feel like I could never do it and I am not into it. And just hearing stuff like that, I'm like, yeah, would rather not. I'm cool with you having this bad time, but not me. Even though I don't want that you like want it for you, but at the same time, you've done it now. I don't want it. <laughs> That's interesting. <clears throat> it sounds like, you know, she's talking about all these different stories from different times and stuff, but like these little outro intro parts are very much like following a theme almost, like with her and her lover, you know, um, rather than like a, sorry, I had to do that. My hands are in the right position for it. Big Sean or whatever it's called, is that him talking or is it not? I don't know. Right, okay, next one was called Oblivion, in brackets, creation. sounds like she's tired of this life like she does say something here like oblivion is kind of like nirvana where you become nothing and you don't have uh to suffer over and over again you're free to just be nothing at least that's what it means to me that's why i sing sweet oblivion it's just a philosophy i have mm. after oblivion my dad dr chill uh, <laughs> the voice comes in. He's a doctor and he's super smart. I didn't really have a close relationship with him as a child because he and my mum were separated. But as I got older, we connected on a spiritual level. He's like 73 or 74. In the studio, it turned into this very spiritual jam session that was like 90 minutes long. And he just kept coming up, coming with wisdom. I knew he was going to say something crazy because even in conversations with me, he always has something crazy life bars for you. That's probably the most time I've ever spent with my dad, the closest we've ever been. 
making these jams so it was a special moment oh, okay i'm really looking forward to keep going then but um yeah so it seems like oblivion is just being in a state of nowhere nothingness back to before anything almost before you were born even you know if you want to go back that far yeah can love that You know, if I wasn't reading the lyrics, I would probably just have my eyes closed and like kind of see some kaleidoscope action going on. You know, some kind of like little bits of like mandalas and stuff. Like I even closed my eyes for a second there and just was like, oh, hello. <laughs> you know, it's just, you could really just like feel that like smooth energy. Um, it really does feel like a spiritual song actually. Dear brother, Am I still asleep? Last night I saw you wow. and you told me there was coin laundry on the moon. Mm. I met a boy. He wasn't right for me. But now that I'm alone, I can hear the spirits talking. From the metaphysical to the physical. Nice. From the metaphysical to the physical. sagacity and intelligence. That's why the indigenous people burned it. Oh, you just wait there, mister. Don't you worry. I'm here for it. Did someone say sage? <laughs> Did someone say sage? Sage. Means sagacity and Mm. That's why the indigenous people burned it. What type of doctor is he? <laughs> to bring out the wisdom. A witch doctor. A shaman. You talk to your plants. They will talk to you. Ooh. Who are they? Well, I am called Fern. I talk to your plants. And I talk to myself sometimes. They will talk to you. Nourish you to a greater creation. Mm. I want more. Doctor Chill, come back. Doctor Chill. Doctor Chill, don't leave me. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, let me pause it. This is a long song, damn. Okay, wow, the way it went from that like Dr. Chill vibe straight into Cool, come on now. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know, and now we're in this in, in psilocybin. Psilocybin. Okay, 
that's what it's called. Psilocybin is a mind-altering drug similar to LSD. Well, I've just said psilocybin now, so LSD, LSD, that's what I was calling it, wasn't it? It effects include euphoria, visual and mental hallucinations, changes in perception, a distorted sense of time and spiritual experiences and can include possible adverse reactions such as nausea and panic attacks. Okay. So, Janae says, plants are healing and mushrooms are definitely a plant from God. The things that they open you up to are very very special so i chose to put that in psilocybin i had drunk a lot of mushroom tea when i was recorded when i recorded that song when i was writing it it literally felt like i was just writing it i wasn't writing it sorry it felt like somebody or something was just channeling through me and i was saying these things i'm the divine mother or i have seeds of promise in my garden when i looked back i was like whoa this is trippy psilocybin is definitely a powerful psychedelic that can open your mind. This song is about that enlightening experience. That's one of my favorite ones too. All right, okay. Well, it's a long song, so it must be one hell of a time. because like, I was just talking about like how nah I'm, not, I'm really not into like doing anything hallucinogenic but then I hear this song and I'm like you know maybe never say never <laughs> no nah, but uh, no nah, I'm still not but um I do like this though but it, it's like still that makes me sad about it I don't know what it is it's like a not to put anyone down who likes doing this sort of thing I still feel like you can reach these parts of yourself without it. And I know I haven't done it, so how am I meant to say that? But I feel like I've been on some weird levels in my life. Um, and plus I've been, I've had moments like this on other things, other substances. Ones that you wouldn't usually have it on, like Molly. But the thing is, like, you can get it on it. If you know what I mean, you can get like um, psychedelic effects on it. And I certainly did. And I told you, like I was saying before, my mind is very open. It's very um, visceral. So I think even the smallest thing can get me there. Like even if I smoke, I will be, yeah, crazy dreams, crazy everything. I, yeah. So like, that's why I, I don't know what would happen to me <laughs> if I ever did anything like this for real. Because I would just be like, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't. But he, I'm still saying never say never. Maybe when I'm like an old witch in my 40s. Not saying you're old if you're in your 40s. <laughs> Can't you see? See, this like instrumental part is like a more like 
beautiful version of what Bad Trip was. It's like Bad Trip, but arranged, smoothed out. It's what it's meant to feel like. I was just thinking as well, like, you know, I love this sort of music. I, I've always loved this sort of music. I remember writing a song years ago and it uh, it was a jam with my ex-boyfriend, but he was playing some real like, oh, psychedelic sounds. I can't remember, but it was like, this street. it went on for like, probably around this amount of time as well. I think it might be like six minutes. And, um, but it was like the weirdest thing. And it was kind of one of those moments where you come out of it and you go, whoa, I wrote that. You do kind of look back and go, wait, what was that? <laughs> when you get so in that zone of just being like, mmm. You know, I think what, what we wrote it after like two nights of like being really busy, we had like gigs and like, we were doing, um yeah, gigs and we'd been like, like to different places in the UK and we'd been going to gigs, we'd been doing gigs. I think it was like three nights actually of doing crazy stuff. Uh, and then we got home and it was almost like, you know, that feeling where you feel like you've come off an elevator and everything's just like, oh, you're just so tired. And we just kind of sat down and my ex just picked up the guitar. Oh, sorry, I got a hair. And started playing this like kind of psychedelic melody. And then we, I just started jamming along. And then after we were like, wait, what? <laughs> and we kind of loved it. I'll see if I can find it, but I know I probably won't show it because like when I hear it now, I'm like, Ooh, it's not as good as we thought it was at the time. Shine chill is just it just sends me sends me into another universe actually where we're still all one oh damn it dr chill i'm so happy to have heard dr chill again <laughs> okay next one is a freestyle called mystic journey Very mystical. Closer to my destiny. Closer to the connection. Closer we are connected. Don't you feel your connection to me? Mm. Am I crazy? Or is like this whole second half of the album just. <laughs> 
like so vibey like yesterday I was like oh my god it's so romantic it's so loving and it feels so like you know, this, that, and the other, I was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, cool, it's like, cool. But the energy is really switched up in a way to, like, being, like, just really just full-blown going into that, like, trip, trippiness, and, like, uh, you know, chill vibes. I don't know. I love it. I'm kind of glad I did it in two different days. Feels like I'm hearing two different albums, but not at all. kind of sampling it again it's so funny it's like it's almost impossible to really comment on like the musicality of it because it like i said it's so dreamy it's, it's just one way like i can't like there's nothing more to comment on and this something really stands out to me but like this is just such a lyrically based album like i already said but it's just so i love it it's making me just like chill and because i'm concentrating on it like that and i'm just reading the story i feel like i just want to say i feel like i'm on my own i am on my own so like when I'm honestly when I'm reacting I feel like I'm with you so I'm like but it feels like I'm like I've got no one watching me in a way like I keep like going into like myself and just jamming along and being like ah as if I was washing up in my kitchen sort of thing but in like such a nice way it's just I'm so absorbed transition or something else Ooh, i loved that i was talking about a little music blah, 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 but that was like such a cool thing to do it was like wow i loved that okay okay this one was called picture perfect picture perfect another freestyle i love that she brackets them as freestyle Picture perfect to me. Because not all artists do. They'll do a freestyle but not say. Oh, I keep you in frame. I, I do see you perfectly. Ooh. Too perfect of a thing. Gosh, those higher keys are like so stark. Picture like... perfect to me. Ooh! Me, me. sounds like she's talking about her brother in a way as well i know it's a freestyle but it sounds like it but apparently the song is it, it says this song may be directed to current boyfriend big sean who janae is very publicly in love with she views sean to be perfect for her and uses this track to show her true appreciation and love for her in an interview with npr she stated when I was in Big Sur, I stayed at this place where they had speakers in the wall and I was just singing along. P Picture Perfect has a big role in the short film as well. Okay. But, um, oh, and someone commented, I thought this song was about her brother. So, I thought that too. <laughs> so, it could be. It could be. 
Right, anyway, next one is called Sing To Me. This is going to be one hell of a long video. Oh my god, it's gone so dark. Sorry. as well like because having this song on an album called trip where so much of it is about tripping but then there's also the point of like she might be feeling like oh my god i'm a mum i'm a mum now what a trip because <laughs> that is another hell of a trip it's like wow i have a responsibility i have a child that's the biggest trip of them all <laughs> so it kind of makes sense as well okay next one is called frequency Frequency, frequently, as I release this frequency, speak to me. Oh, free my city, free my seat. Bless my situation, give me freedom. Oh, free my city, free my seat. Bless my situation, show me love. Bless the generation, let them know yes. that you love. That that's love. Honestly, it just kind of weirdly feels like a church song. Something kind of like gospel about it. Slightly. Even though it's still carrying the themes of all the songs on here. It's got that little bit in there that feels a bit like like preaching, you know, and it feels nice. Never fight. We are never fight. Frequency, frequently. I love the way that As beat comes in. This frequency, speak to me. Bless my situation, give me freedom. Bless the generation, give them mercy. Bless the situation. Oh, they with me frequently. Not how to do many upward runs. So that was really nice. Yeah, uh, yeah, I was just saying, sorry. I've not how to do many, like, upward... Have you seen how dark it's got? I know it's, like, bright on me now, but, like, that's literally because outside is so gloomy that it's got this dark. But anyway, um, yeah, I've heard her mainly do... We've mainly had her do downward runs, but not many, like, upward runs. And obviously, and honestly, upward runs are harder, for sure. But um, it was quite nice to hear it then. You love, know that you love. Oh, free my city, free my seed. Let them know, know that you love, know that there's love. Lead them from temptation, make them royalty. All the things we face in make us question it. Lead us to salvation, pour that oil, please. That's how we become kings. And queens. Preach. Absolutely preach. <laughs> Someone wrote in the comments on Genius, God wrote this. <laughs> and if I'm honest, I, I get that. And someone else wrote Hallelujah. Someone wrote um, It's Heavenly. Yeah, so like when I said it has that kind of like preaching feel to it, 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 it is. It basically is. Okay, next song is called Ascension. Okay, we are sending. Sort of, and I got up, yeah, sort of. Got my 
very nice. Uh, another one with those beautiful runs. I just want to say what Janae said about this. This is how I meditate. I ask myself questions and meditate on those questions. What do you do it for? What are you running toward? What is the path you're going to choose? This song is me running to the light at the end of the tunnel. I feel like I'm on the right path now and I'm on my way. I know I still have things to get over and things that are going to come my way, but I feel like I'm headed in the right direction. Oh, this is so beautiful to hear, you know. my way back from heaven, you know, being an angel and all. Nice. Oh, 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 hello. This song was called Trip, titled Track, Bitch. On nights like this I ride. It's the last song. Turn the music up to keep from crying. Wait till the sunshine. I really like this um, synthy, globular, bassy sound. It's a guilt trip, yeah. Oh, guilt trip. It stays with you, with you. In this one, yeah, it's, sim it's simple, but it is actually capturing my attention more so than some of the other songs, in a way where, like, obviously the lyrics are still as important, but there's there's a bit more of like a mix going on. Yeah, like a field trip. Whoa. That stands out. It's a real trip. I'm asking who can save me? You can't baby. You can't baby. Who can save me? No, that you can't baby. Change it. You can't change it. Right I love how like most of my reaction is just looking down. Please don't let the darkness keep me low halfway. Oh okay. Oh I like that vocal effect. That's a drop off. Drop. <laughs> what he just did was a drop off. I said drop off. I always do that. I always like get my th th and and th mixed up. But he went. Um, sorry, the light, the sun, the sunshine has decided to come out a bit more. Well, yeah, that's good. But um, he went, da, da. and that's what you call a vocal drop off. Stay with you, with you Love taxes. Love taxes. Slurring. You can't baby, you can't baby. Trying to conquer the world, but darling, you can't change it. You can't change it. It wasn't a quick trip, it was an hour and 25 minute trip. That's the length of the album. <laughs>
Okay, interesting that that's the last song. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, I wouldn't have chose an, any of the others to be the last song, but I would have imagined the last song to be joining all of it together a little bit, but maybe not. There was a lot of songs. And then there, and there were sections. There were like, there was like the love section. Then there was like the tripping section. Then the, you know, there was a section of being like, I'm a badass section, you know. And then there was the Dr. Chill section, <laughs> you know. So there were sections. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being crazy. But, um, oh, whoops. <laughs> Feels like it's so bright. Hang on. Oh, hang on, the dawn. Um, I'm still in the country. <laughs> it's not in the cup yet. Okay. Right, anyway, I'm just going to do obviously the outro now. But yeah, I love the album. It's one of those albums where it's like such a storytelling album that like it's not something that I would stick on a song by like like a song at a time. Maybe there's a few that I would, but I don't know. Like it's so weird with music at the moment. It feels like like I hear an album and like usually uh, the albums I would listen to are like, you know, Lan Del Rey, like Born to Die, where you can listen to a standalone song at any time pretty much. Lady Gaga, you can definitely <laughs> listen to a standalone song at any time. Same with Marina and the Diamonds and those will like be my icons for like ever. Um, but I've been hearing so much album, albums throughout this uh, journey where like you know, and I've obviously had millions of other albums as well, but I've been hearing loads of albums throughout this journey where it's like, damn, like, this is not really, like, an album that I could just pick one song out and go, I want to listen to that today. Because of the story they tell, I feel like I'd have to listen to the album in succession again and again. If I, you know, I'd have to sit down and really just listen to the whole album, like, um, if I want to hear it. But that being said, maybe if I did hear it again, and then again, you know, there might then be a chance of me going, okay, I do actually like this one the most. Oh, I do like that one the most. Um, and be able to pick them out a bit more like that. It's my first listen, so how am I meant to know, really? Um, I know for a fact, I loved all the songs that had like Dr. Chill in. And those like more like mm, spiritual sounding ones. But I also loved, I loved Nobody. Then I loved Overstimulated. Like I loved those two so much. Those two were so good. And then going back to before, I loved Sativa as well. That was really cool. Um, there was quite a few that I liked, but I don't remember them all now. But in editing, I'll obviously know. But um, I hope you enjoyed my reaction, though. Um, it was so much fun to do this. Sorry, it's like extreme brightness. What have I... We're at the end now, so who cares? But anyway, um, yeah, I loved it. I loved it. Thank you so much for joining me. And please do like and subscribe and all of that loveliness. Anyway, goodbye.